What's awesome about Singular's Overlay Builder, Composer, is that there are a bunch of advanced tools you can use to create custom, unique, and engaging overlays for your content. One of the most advanced tools available in Composer is the Event Tool. This tool enables you to create overlays that are interactive for your viewers. I'm going to run you through the basics of using this tool so you can hit the ground running and come up with some amazing interactive overlays for your content. To get started, open up your dashboard and then head over to the Marketplace. Then download the interactive example theme from the Resources section. And go ahead and open it up once you've downloaded it. In this interactive example, there are four pre-built overlays, A through D. There are also four pre-built overlays that will serve as buttons to the viewer, A button through D button. The goal with this composition is to have each button, when clicked by the viewer, toggle in and out their corresponding colored overlays. Everything in this comp is prepped except for the events that need to be added to make this thing interactive. Let's start with the green overlays. Open up the Composition Navigator and dive into the A button subcomposition. Select the main base rectangle widget to add interactivity. This is what we want our viewer to be able to click to make things happen to the green A overlay. Note that we want to add interactivity to the entire rectangular base of this button. And take note that the event we add will apply to the entire bounding box of this widget. Now let's add the event. With your main base rectangle widget selected, navigate to the event tab within the property panel. Click on the drop down menu and select mouse down, which is also click. Aside from mouse down, there are other actions a user can perform to overlays such as swipes and hovers. But for this specific button, we just want the user to be able to click it. Make sure to deactivate the send message to composition script box. This tool is for advanced users. For more information on the send message to composition script box, check out the video description. Select Active in the Control Subcomposition box to turn on this functionality. This Control Subcomposition box, when activated, makes the mouse down event that we've added to the green button be able to control a subcomposition of our choosing. That is, when the user clicks the green button, they're able to impact the behavior of another overlay of our choosing. Now we're going to select the overlay subcomposition that will be impacted by clicking on the green button and what animation it will take when that happens. In the composition drop-down menu, select A, which is the subcomposition or overlay that will be controlled by our A button. The animation mode we're going to select is toggle so that clicking the green A button can toggle in and out the green A overlay. Congrats, you've just made your overlay interactive. Test your work by pretending to be a viewer. Open up your output and see if your work is successful by clicking on the button. If you followed the steps correctly, clicking the green A button will toggle in and out the green A overlay. All that's left in this tutorial is to repeat these steps for the other three buttons and their corresponding overlays. Click on the link in the description to see if your completed work is as interactive as our completed work. Now use your imagination to create interactive overlays that work perfectly for your content. If you have any singular related questions, check out other videos on our channel or access our support portal at support.singular.live.